Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a thrift store haul. I have so many things to show you guys. I have lots of decor items, lots of clothing pieces, and I love thrift store shopping. I have shared this in my last thrift store haul. If you have not checked that one out, I actually took you guys thrift shopping with me and I shared some tips and tricks that I had for whenever I thrift shop. Um, so I will leave that up in like a little card where if you have not watched that video yet, you can check that out after you watch this one. Before we get started into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you stick around by hitting the subscribe button down below and also tick on your notification bell so you're notified every single time that I upload. Also, at the end of this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like thrift store hauls or if you liked any of the pieces that I share in this thrift store haul. I am so stinking excited. Let's get into the video. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna try not to burn my hair or any of the items on this candle back here, but since it's here, I need to share with you guys what it is because it's gonna change your life. This is the Sweater Weather candle from Bath & Body Works. If you guys have not tried that candle before, why? Um, <laughs> I get it. Every single fall, I basically like get it at fall, burn it all the way into the next year, restock, because it only comes out to the holidays. Such a good candle, such a good clean scent, buy it. Okay, so I'm thinking we start with decor because I have it all just kind of like chilling here. So obviously, if you don't know, I live at home still. So basically, I can't really use any of these decor items right now, but I have been building up a hope chest, which if you don't know what a hope chest is, Basically, it is a chest or like a tub of some sort that you keep um, and you just put a bunch of things in in it. <laughs> you just put a bunch of things in it that you find maybe on sale or like a really good deal or something that you just know would look so good in your future home. So that way whenever you get a future home and you, or you get your place, whatever, um, you don't have to worry about getting a lot of things. So... And it also just makes me like super excited for a future home, you know? That's just me. Um, I think I actually talked about that and a little bit more about my hope chest on my last thrift store video. But it's been a while since I've done a thrift store, so I've been accumulating a bunch of things. Let's get started with the decor. Oh, I also don't have my receipts anymore for these. I really wish I would have kept them so I could told you guys the prices on these, but I'm just gonna like estimate the prices if I happen to remember them. Or like most of my decor still has the tags on it. So, first things first is this little wicker basket, and I pictured this, like, on a coffee table with, like, a candle, um, like, maybe a book, um, I don't know, like, a vase of flowers, just something, like, on a coffee table or on, like, a kitchen table. It was $3.99, and... Even if any of these things weren't 50% off or 99 cents, if you don't know, you can actually use your student discount. Um, if you have like a little ID card for your school at Goodwill, I think it really gets you like 10% off, but once you get like a bunch of things, 10% off really does add up into dollars whenever you're getting everything. So that's this. Okay, the next thing I got was this little, what is this called? cannot think of the name of this wine. It kind of reminds me of like what you would put like milk, old like milk glasses in, you know, like back in the day. I picture this like in my kitchen um, with like little glass bottles in there um, and maybe like herbs or like dried flowers, something in there. Um, but it's really cute. It actually has like a little opener thing here on the side, but it's just a little wooden basket type of thing. Can't remember the name. That's horrible. And I'm pretty sure I got this for 50% off. Um, so it was $7.99 before the 50% off. So like $3, 4 And I'm pretty sure I got these at the same time. So the $3.99 would have been 50% off on this basket as well. Okay, next I just got like a practical item, you know? This is really isn't like a decor, it's just one you would actually use. But I felt like it was such a good deal. Um, I believe I got these for half off as well, so it would have been like $1.50 or something. But I got, how many 
plates are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these little white plates. They seriously look like they've never even been used. So I was so excited to find this because obviously like when you get a house and stuff, you're gonna have to buy dishes. So I thought this was such a good deal, such a good steal. And they're just plain basic white plates. I feel like they're not too, too small, but they're not like a large plate either. So I like these. Okay, the next thing that I got was this little jar here. And it actually needs to be cleaned because I think maybe somebody had like a candle or something like that in this jar. But um, it has this little like cork stopper. I thought this would be so cute in a kitchen um, with like sugar or flour or something like that in here um, that you could kind of like have it out on your shelf or on your counter and it still be out where like you can use it but it's cute and decorative um, and it's like a good little storage thing so I thought this was super super cute and I got this for 50 cents so hello still. Now if you don't remember from my last I think I talked about it in my last thrift store haul um, but for my kitchen heck even now I am just obsessed with like lemons. Yellow is my favorite color. I just think it looks so bright and happy. And so what I want for my future kitchen um, is to be like white and light woods and like lemons like as the accent color. Like yellow and lemons as the accent. And then also this really hard to describe color that I can't quite know what the exact term for the color tone is. Um, I have some things that I'm going to show you just a little bit that will be the exact color that I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, so I got, that's a long shebang just for me to describe this for you. But um, I just want it to be like crisp, clean, and then have accent colors of the lemons. Um, this minty blue that I'm going to show you in just a second. And then also just like other type of fruits. So, um, you know, like oranges and apples and strawberries and all things like that so I got these little wooden planks this one is lemons on it of course cute and then I also got this one um, and I'm pretty sure they're both 50% off so they were like two dollars each or something like that but this one has strawberries on it and this one has lemons on it I just thought this would be super cute as like kind of a little collage little piece on some sort of wall in a kitchen. I just got these two cups. Um, I got them for a dollar and it's just two like white mugs. Nothing super fancy about them. But um, I mean really there's gonna be like two people in the house to begin with. So two mugs is really all you need to begin with. So I got these two little mugs. I thought they were super cute and they match the white little plates so I could just picture you know sitting there for breakfast with my little coffee and my little muffin or whatever on that little white plate I said earlier and then this kind of goes back to what I was describing to you guys what I want my kitchen to be so I thought this was just a cute little canister um it looks vintage to me which I like so um it just is a white little canister. It has strawberries and like greenery on it. Um, a green little lid and then it has a strawberry little top that of course is like the handle you pull to pull it off. Um, I thought this was so so cute. It could be used as like a cookie jar. It could be used for flour. It can be used for whatever else. Oh so loud. So loud. So loud. So loud. Pour next please. Here's what I was talking about earlier about how I want the specific type of blue. Not a baby blue, it's not mint. It's not blue, it's not green. I really don't know how to describe this except for like a bird's egg blue, if that makes any sense. I don't know. But I did not get this from the thrift store. I got it from an antique store um, on the square or like the little town where I live at. So, you guys wait till you hear how much I paid for this okay here we go they so precisely 
like wrapped this so I kind of feel bad for destroying it but you see this blue here how stinking hard is that to describe like it's not blue it's not really a mint it's not even really showing up how it really is on camera but did you guys see that it's kind of like a minty bird's egg blue so it'll be like this with lemons and white and light woods that's just what i picture so i got this it was two like big plates like i just showed you and then it came also with this little like kind of gravy or creamer whatever dish and it has this little pretty print on it four of these little plates so it's basically the same thing as the big plate but just a little tiny version of it like coffee tea cups so stinking cute i got all of that stuff guess for how much go ahead guess i got it for five dollars i got that whole set in an antique store um i would love to have dishware also this color that has has that like speckled white on it like white paint on it if i'm gonna insert a picture try to find a picture right here so i can kind of describe what i'm trying to share with you guys you know so i just think that these plates and this like dishware is so special has my necklace been turned this whole time you guys you didn't tell me what the heck That's Aussie. I don't know. Okay. She's hallucinating. She thinks she sees something outside. She doesn't. There is nothing outside. And. Oh my gosh. That's it for my decor that I found. So exciting. Okay. And now let's move on to my clothes. I have got to say, I have had some of the best luck in Goodwill finding clothes like the past two times that i've gone i have found some really good things i'm very excited okay so the first thing was just the sweatshirt it's just like a navy sweatshirt let me try to not catch the sleeve on fire but it just says usa it's just super cute and comfortable and with me going to school and it's winter time i normally don't like dress up a whole lot for school so usually i'm in just like leggings and a t-shirt or something but it's cold outside and I need something thicker, so sweatshirts have been my go-to. This next thing is seriously just a t-shirt, like it's not anything fancy, but um, this is actually from kind of a more preppier style clothing. I found this in the men's section. It's also where I found that sweatshirt. I usually go there first, and I go there to find like my t-shirts and my sweatshirts because I just love like men's oversized t-shirts and sweatshirts it's just my jam so i just got this kind of long sleeve t-shirt it has this little bow tie on it and it says traditional prep on the front on the back it has the same bow tie and says traditional prep i tried to find the one that's like least guyish so this has got to be one of my all-time favorite things i have ever found at goodwill okay so this is the t-shirt it's just a white t-shirt and it says make cookies great again are you serious this is like the funniest and the cutest t-shirt one of my favorite finds that i've ever found at goodwill and it's kind of longer so typically i wear this with just like a cardigan kind of like an oversized cardigan kind of thrown over it um with like leggings and little booties um because it's long enough to cover my booty <laughs> and the leggings but it is so sneaky. It, on the back, it says like my cookie or something like that written on there. Okay, the next two things that I got, first of all, they're both t-shirts. And whenever I was like browsing, oops, you fell off the hanger, little guy. First one, so cute. I believe these are both actually from like a boutique brand. Uh, I'm not 100% positive, but um, this one is super cute. And it says weekends are for waffles and sweats 
and road trips and dreaming and tacos. I thought this was such a cute top. It would be super cute with like a pair of ripped jeans, a oversized cardigan, some booties. It's just so cute. Loved this one. Then I also got this one that says, I love your vintage soul. I thought this was so stinking cute. Sorry, I was trying to make sure my hair wasn't like on fire. It's super cute. It's kind of like a slouchier t-shirt. So it kind of like wears off the shoulder a little bit, which is cute. You can wear this with a bralette, kind of the same type of wearing as the other ones where I would just wear it with an oversized cardigan, some leggings, some booties, and wear that to school, wear it to work, wear it to wherever, where I'm super comfortable, but I'm still dressed up and these little graphic tees are so, so cute. Okay, sticking also with the theme of t-shirts, we're rolling in with them here. Um, I got this one, and honestly, I've said before, I feel like I'm just like kind of a grandma at heart. Um, so I loved this simple little top here. It's a white, I'm pretty sure a grand, uh, like a granny owned this, but it is so stinking cute. I'm gonna try to focus in on the patterns. And it carries over to the back as well. So it has kind of the same type of print on the back. Next thing I got is just this burgundy sweater. This is not the sleeves. This is the neck, by the way. Thought I'd clarify that. But um, it's just this really pretty, it's actually a nice thickness um, sweater. It has like this cow neck where it's kind of like a turtleneck but it's not as like constricting. It's a little bit more looser and less fitted. The last thing that I got for my thrift store haul is also one of my favorite things that I have ever found at Goodwill. When I saw this, I didn't even have to think twice about putting it in my buggy. Actually, the very night that I got this shirt, um, I hung out with Patrick afterwards and so I got into his vehicle and I was like, you wanna see what I got at Goodwill? You know, and I was showing him um, what I got and before I even pulled this top out of the bag, he saw the print in the bag and kind of saw a little bit of the shirt before I pulled it out. And he was like, I don't know what that is, but that looks like you. Like, that just looks like you. And I was like, wow, thanks. It's so cute. Okay, this is the top. It has, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so it's like a flowy. I really hope you're able to tell. It's these little white and pink pinstripes, and it has these cute little like baby doll tie up tank sleeves. I actually wore this previously um, when it was cold outside. I just threw like a big cardigan over it and kind of wore it kind of like off the shoulder on one side, you know, so you could still see the sleeves. But look how adorable this shirt is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for my video today. I hope you guys liked it. If you liked this video, if you want to see more thrift store hauls from me, or if you liked any of my items that I got today, make sure you give this video a thumbs up for me. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit the red button down below. You stick around. I am back on my YouTube game. I took a little break. I talked about that in my last video, which was my check check get ready with me if you have not checked that video out yet i will have it linked down below for you and i will see you guys in my next video bye